9. Messerschmitt Bf 109 Throughout World War II, the Luftwaffe relied primarily on two fighter aircraft. One of them was the Messerschmitt Bf 109, which entered service during the Spanish Civil War in 1937. During its early days, the Messerschmitt Bf 109 was one of the most advanced fighter jets in production, and even today, it remains one of the most produced fighter aircraft in history with nearly 34,000 having been built between 1936 and 1945. Sadly though, many of the planes were built by forced laborers. Since so many 109s were made, it's not surprising that a lot of them either wrecked or were shot down throughout the war. The abandoned fighter planes have been found in several countries and in all types of environments, including the forest, on the beach, and submerged in the water. Not much information is available about the 109 in this photo but it was reportedly found abandoned at Lechfeld Airfield during the Allied advance into Western Germany toward the end of the war. No modern photos of the plane exist, indicating that it was removed from the site long ago. 8. Hurricane Fighter Aircraft During the summer of 2023, eight British Hawker Hurricane fighter planes were found buried in a Ukrainian forest. The finding came after the discovery of an unexploded World War II-era bomb nearby prompting metal detectorists to scan the area for additional hidden wartime relics. Designed for the British Royal Air Force during the 1930s, the single-seat Hawker Hurricane played a larger role in World War II than it's often given credit for. It played an especially crucial role during the Battle of Britain in 1940, inflicting an estimated 60% of the casualties that were suffered by the Germans throughout the campaign. The hurricanes that were recently found in Ukraine were among the 3,000 that were sent to the Soviet Union between 1941 and 1944 to support the Allied war effort. Under the Lend-Lease Act, the USSR would have to repay the United States for any equipment that remained intact at the end of the war. And as a result, a lot of aircraft and other military vehicles that survived the conflict were deliberately destroyed or broken up for parts. The eight buried planes were stripped of valuable components, including instruments, radios, machine guns, and useful scrap metal. They were then dragged to their burial site from a nearby airfield using tractors and were dumped in a shallow ravine and covered up with dirt. The site is currently being excavated by staff members from the National Aviation Museum of Ukraine, who plan to reassemble the planes and put them on display for the whole world to see. Seven. Loon Lake Wreck. 40 miles north of McCall, Idaho, what's left of a World War II-era Douglas B-23 Dragon Bomber sits in the woods next to Loon Lake. It crashed in January 1943 while en route from a training mission in Tonopah, Nevada to McCord Airfield in Tacoma, Washington. Only 38 B-23 bombers were ever made. Each plane was built for a crew of six, but the one that crashed was carrying eight crew members that fateful day making it uncomfortable to begin with. During the second half of the flight, the aircraft encountered a brutal blizzard, making the crew unable to land at McCord. The plane was then rerouted to Burns, Oregon, but the weather there was also bad. So they attempted to fly to Boise, Idaho, where they believed they'd be able to make an emergency landing, but the problems only continued. The cockpit windows became iced over, fuel ran low, and it became clear that the crew wasn't going to make it to their new destination. While trying to land on the frozen surface of Loon Lake, the pilot overshot the clearing and crashed into the surrounding forest. But miraculously, all eight men survived. Five crew members spent the next three weeks living in a makeshift lean-to while eating their chocolate rations and wild animals. The other three crew members hiked 35 miles through the wilderness, often through waist-deep snow, until they were able to access a phone and call for help. Today, the wreck is marked by a plaque telling the crew's harrowing survival story. 6. P-4YSA On the Dutch Caribbean island of Curaçao, there's a graffiti-covered plane sitting along a busy road about an hour's drive from the capital of Willemstad. It's surrounded by overgrowth and trees and has clearly been at its current site for many years, but nobody seems to know how it got there. Built by the Japanese manufacturer Nihon Aircraft, the twin turboprop plane flew for Aruba Airlines as Flight P-4YSA. But there are no records of any crashes involving the aircraft, 
suggesting that it was taken out of service for other reasons. The identity of its most recent owner is also a mystery. At one point, there were plans in place to turn the plane into a restaurant called Air Curacao. Its exterior was even painted with the business's name and the word restaurant. However, it's unclear whether the restaurant ever opened or how long it operated for. Today, the plane is in sad shape. Its wings, seats, and twin props have been removed, and the interior is heavily damaged. The floor is covered in ceiling tiles and other debris, the windows are broken, and most of the wall paneling has been ripped out. It looks like the owner began gutting the aircraft with plans to renovate it, but for some reason the project came to an abrupt halt and was never finished. 5. Jadair Air Base from a bird's eye view, the defunct Jadair Air Base in northern Albania appears to be completely surrounded by forest. Located outside the city of Leje, its original purpose was to store up to 50 airplanes at a time inside tunnels that were built into a nearby mountain. The covert base was also created to prevent the Yugoslav Air Force from entering Albania's airspace. Construction began in 1969 and continued until the mid-1970s. It took a long time to build the base due to its complex features. In addition to housing several aircraft squadrons for the Albanian military, the site eventually became a place of strategic interest to the United States. And during the mid-90s, the CIA used the base to conduct top-secret spy missions over Bosnia and Herzegovina, as well as Yugoslavia. The American military also used the base for a short period to monitor the Bosnian War. In 1997, the property was stormed by members of a national revolt against the Albanian government. They destroyed several buildings, including the control tower, and the base was abandoned by its staff. Then, in the year 2000, all flying operations to and from the base officially ended. The damaged buildings at the site were never rebuilt due to a lack of funding, and the base remains abandoned to this day. It functions as a storage facility for around 70 dilapidated planes that sit in and around the tunnels, all of which will likely never fly again. The tunnels also contain old military equipment, including trucks and anti-aircraft guns. And at the moment, there appear to be no future plans for the property, which continues to fall further into decay as it sits neglected and largely forgotten. 4. Water Rock Knob Wreck For 40 years, a wrecked Cessna 414 sat nestled in overgrowth and surrounded by debris along a hiking trail in North Carolina's Great Smoky Mountains. It crashed near the summit of Water Rock Knob Mountain in 1983, when its pilot, a Chicago-based businessman named Ernest Martin, flew too low beneath the clouds in order to maintain visibility. Martin and his secretary, Senta Jarrett, were flying from Illinois to the small mountain town of Bryson City for a planned visit with Jarrett's children. But before taking off, Martin failed to file a flight plan as required, and he was seemingly unaware of the weather conditions he'd encounter. He was right on course when he overestimated how long he could fly. He would have likely reached his destination with no problems if he'd flown just a few hundred feet higher. Unfortunately, though, he crashed, resulting in his and Jarrett's death. Investigators discovered the wreck and the victim's frozen bodies a week after the accident, which was officially blamed on pilot error. A post-mortem examination revealed that Martin had a blood alcohol level of 0.04 at the time of the crash, which may or may not have affected how he was flying. But regardless, a BAC of 0.04 exceeds the legal limit for flying an airplane. The bodies were returned to the victim's families, while the plane's engine and anything else of value was removed from the craft. The wreck remained at the site for decades, but has since been removed as of August 2023. 3. The Talassia Rex Papua New Guinea saw a lot of action between the United States and Japan during World War II, and today its land and waters remain scattered with plane wrecks from the era. In a remote wooded area outside Kimbe Town in West New Britain, there's a pair of downed aircraft known as the Talassia plane wrecks. The site is located about a 30 to 40 minute drive from the nearest resort, and the road to get there is extremely rough and challenging. And while the two bombers are situated close to the road, they're almost entirely surrounded by dense jungle. 
During the war, the U.S. Marines operated the site as an airfield for emergency landings. Its airstrip was too small for practical use, but it came in handy for the two forced landings that occurred there in 1944. The property was abandoned after the war and was eventually overtaken by a palm oil plantation. One of the wrecks at the site is a B-25H bomber that ran into mechanical problems while patrolling the area for Japanese threats. After successfully destroying several Japanese barges and supply ships, U.S. Air Force Army pilot Captain Charles Wolfendale made an emergency landing at Thalassia Airfield. The crew survived with minimal injuries, but the plane was badly damaged. The other wreck is a Lockheed P-1 Ventura patrol bomber that landed at Thalassia after being hit by a shell during a raid on the town of Rabol in 1944. Flying on one engine, Royal New Zealand Air Force pilot Frederick N. R. Thomas eased the damaged aircraft onto the runway as gracefully as he could. It was a hard landing, but the crew walked away unharmed. The airstrip was too short for the bomber to take off from, though, so instead of fixing it and returning to the sky, the military stripped it for parts and abandoned it. Nature has completely reclaimed the site since then, leaving the deteriorating wrecks covered in overgrowth and hidden by trees. And while it's not easy to reach the site, many who've been there say that it's worth the visit. 2. Texas Plain Graveyard In recent years, rumors began to circulate online about an alleged plain graveyard in central Texas that's said to contain several deteriorating Cold War-era aircraft. A team of unofficial investigators, including an aviation expert and a museum representative, decided to locate the site themselves and to investigate its origins. And what they found was three planes covered in weeds and overgrowth behind a line of dense trees. Located in a dense forested area near the city of Temple, the collection consists of two Grumman F-14 Tomcats and one McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom. They've been sitting there for so long that small trees have even started growing and poking through the rusty plains. The site is also strewn with airplane parts. Speaking with the Houston Chronicle, Fort Worth Aviation Museum Executive Director Jim Hodgson described the condition of the long-neglected planes not only as a disrespect to the aircraft themselves, but also to their role and symbolism in the history of national defense. Officials from the Naval Air Systems Command reportedly told Hodgson that the planes were kept at a former naval air base that closed during the 1980s. A contractor was hired to transport the planes to a scrapyard, but they apparently didn't follow through with the job, and the aircraft somehow ended up on someone's private property. It's unclear why the planes were left at the site, but they appear to have been dumped there intentionally. 1. Heritage Park Wreck For many years, a mysterious mangled plane sat perched in a tree at Heritage Park in Mission, British Columbia. All that's left of the single-seater aircraft is a mangled mess of metal, consisting of what looks like a cockpit roof and perhaps a wing. Very few people know about the wreck. In fact, even many locals are unaware of it, according to Atlas Obscura. And nobody knows exactly when the plane crashed, just that it's been there since at least 1971. The only way anyone knows this is based on the scrawlings of a graffiti artist who took the time to attach the year to their work. There are reportedly no records of the plane or the crash, and it's possible that it was moved to the trees from elsewhere. So it's unclear whether the deteriorating aircraft is even at the original site of the accident that destroyed it. It's almost as if it just appeared one day out of nowhere. In recent years, the pieces have fallen out of the tree and onto the ground in two separate places. And today, they sit near trails that run through the park and are easy to get to. But reaching the site requires roughly a half hour of walking, so getting there does require some effort. Heritage Park is a popular place for mountain biking, hiking, dog walking, and other outdoor activities. So you're likely to run into other visitors during your trip. Which of these abandoned planes would you most like to see with your own eyes? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and we hope to see you in the next one. Bye.